Hi guys, Dr. Wendy Dearborn here from the Laws of Attraction in Action and Food Beyond Its Nutrition. Well, welcome, welcome, welcome guys. We just want to talk a little bit about our whole food, plant-based eating experience. And for those of you who've been following us and those of you who will be following us, you know that we actually embarked on a 40, it started out as a 30 day. <laughs> I caught that. It started out as a 30 day whole food plant-based experience and it wound up going into a 45 day which is now a 48 day and will for me continue rolling. Um, what, what I want to share with you before we actually talk individually and collectively about our experience is this. One of, the, one of the reasons why we decided to do this and why I threw it out there was generally I was feeling really yucky um, and I, I was just feeling really sluggish, I was feeling really yucky and after my birthday we had gone away to uh, a resort for a, uh, the weekend, a couple of days and Dee had made mention that, you know, why not? Why don't we do a green smoothie fast? And for those of you who know me, I wrote a book about five years ago on green smoothies and fasting for your health. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And so um, Dee, su Dee suggested, you know, why don't we do a green smoothie fast? And I thought, you know, that sounds really, really good. And he, su he said, you know, nothing major, you know, maybe three days or four mm -hmm. days or something like that. Nothing like because I I've done a 60 day green smoothie fast. So, you know, nothing major, just, you know, just something just to get, get you feeling right, you know, get him feeling right. And so we were, the night before we left the, the resort, I said to him, he, he made mention about going for breakfast. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> he made mention about going for breakfast and I'm like, there ain't no breakfast, baby. We, we started our green smoothie fast Monday morning. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> surprise, surprise, yes it was. So he said we're gonna I said we're gonna start Monday morning. He was like, oh what no breakfast. And I, nope. And of course that's what we did. We we left, you know, left the, the, the resort, headed home and um, I actually practice and I do practice um, intermittent fasting. That's something that I have practiced for a while. And that has helped me to control, I want to say how my blood sugar, how how the, the 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 blood sugars work in my body, and that really works for me. Um, but anyway, so I wasn't going to eat till noon anyway because I do a what an eighteen six, uh, something like that. I I I fast for eighteen hours and I eat within a six hour window. I fast for sixteen hours and eat within an eight hour window or something like that. But I, this is this is a protocol, and I've been doing this for quite a while, and it has really helped me with um, highs and lows or hypoglycemia. But again, that works for me. If you have issues, make sure you see your doctor and/or provider. Right? I'm not I'm not telling anybody to do this. Um, but if you're interested, I actually uh, practice or use a philosophy by Dr. Jason Fung. Dr. Jason Fung, excellent. You can YouTube him. So anyway, Dee had suggested this and I was like, okay, we'll do it. And we, we came home and I... I suggested the green smoothie at the start. <laughs> he suggested but the green the green smoothie mm -hmm. part of this. And then I suggested that we do, you know, whole food plant-based. And I suggested we do whole food plant-based and it would have then been for like 27 days or something because I said let's do a 30 day thing but in my head I took 30 days from the 1st of March and not what was it a Valentine's Day the, the, 14th, the 14th of February, February. Yeah. in my mind those 15 <laughs> days or whatever it is didn't count from the 14th of <laughs> February to the 1st of uh, March it didn't count and so when when I was talking about doing a 30 day green smoothie fast I was talking about from the 1st of March to the 31st which yours truly told me that's 31 days wins that's not 30 days so anyway so that's that's that story how that came into play one of the reasons uh, one of the reasons I said this briefly um, when I did a, a Facebook live last week 
One of the reasons why I literally chose to do the whole food plant-based is one, I actually think it's good for you, but primarily because my life had spiraled out of control. With the forced closure of my business, with health issues going on with my family, with some health issues going on with me, um, everything had spiraled out of control. So rather than, you know, do what I normally do is cook baked goods and eat chocolate and um, eat, you know, just eat what people consider to be comfort foods. You know, I decided that I was going to take this opportunity and to really walk my talk. One of the things that I am very, very cognizant of and in the research that I've done, and I think that a lot of people don't think that I do research. I do a lot of research. I'm a researcher. Uh, but I don't like to give people, even in my book, you know, Green is for Life, I don't give a lot of stats and this and that because I know having worked in a hospital and collected information for stats, people can make anything look like what they want it to look like. But that being said, I, in, in the things that I have researched, I, I, it became very clear to me that people were not, um, people didn't realize that food impacts your ability to manifest the things that you want in life. Food is, isn't just about nutrition. It, it truly helps you. The first law of the universal laws of attraction is choice. And thereafter that, you need everything that you can use within your power to support that choice. And one of the things that we all need, air, water, food, shelter, food is a huge category. And so, again, I decided to walk my talk. I decided to walk my talk and use food to assist and support me in manifesting what I want for my life. And I'm not talking about body image. I'm talking about things, spiritual things, tangible things, whether it be car, house, home. These are the things that I'm talking about as well. So, we decided, we decided to do a 30-day whole food plant-based and whole food plant-based literally means because there are so many ways of eating out there and let me just say this guys this isn't a diet for the dearborns this is a, a way of life it's a lifestyle okay so there are so many ways there are so many ways to eat out there and whole food plant-based is literally that you use whole grains whole foods plant-based foods now there are people who are seriously hardcore and they don't use things like um, better than, uh, beyond, uh, better than um, no based chicken stock, you know, uh, they don't use soy sauce. They'll opt for perhaps amino, um, coconut amino acids and some people won't even use that because it is as they consider to be highly processed. You know, we had, what was it called? Uh, beyond beyond meat yeah beyond, beyond meat. meat beyond meat we had a burger those burgers were good innit mm. Mm. Yeah, the burger was oh not bad not bad it not didn't bad. say moo no it didn't say moo <laughs> <laughs> but, but we, it wasn't bad uh, it, yeah. no it was actually pretty yeah, good yeah it was really good to say that it's not a meat right. burger mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. you know we had beyond uh, meat burger and um, actually it was really good but I was very con cognizant of the fact that it was highly processed you know, there are a couple of other things that I have used and do use and will continue to use. Like I just meant the, mentioned the bullion. It's highly processed. However, food, when you're doing whole food plant-based, the food needs to taste good. Yeah, this is true. And uh, so far, uh, the everything that you have prepared uh, from the run run, Run down, <laughs> Jamaica run, run down, okay, okay, run run. Okay. <laughs> but anyway, uh, yeah, the uh, the food that you prepare, everything has been nice. I mean, it's like uh, the uh, uh, tofu. If you eating uh, tofu, if it's not prepared, you know, it's all according to how you prepare it, how you season it, or whatever. So, uh, but the way you prepared it, I mean, everything for the last. 48 days it's really been <laughs> no really been off the chain so and I can't say I have a favorite because they are all uh, my favorites 
Okay, that 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 was for you, uh, uh, Roberta. That was for you. <laughs> that was for you. That was for you. <laughs> how do you feel? That that being said, for you, uh, how how do you actually feel? Well, you know, I I feel a lot better. Uh, as a matter of fact, so far as um, uh, sleeping uh, better, uh, so far as uh, uh, like not feeling sluggish mm -hmm. when I when I finish eating, I don't feel like oh I need too much, you know, or, you know, uh, more energy, mm -hmm. you know. So yeah, so and as a matter of fact, saying that because you know I do my blood, I check my blood pressure, and since I've been doing uh, we've been doing this uh, whole food plant based thing, my blood pressure has been down. It's like been. Somewhere between 115 over 80 to probably back about 130 over 80, somewhere in there. But it's really been, really been down. And it's been a constant thing. It's not like up and down. It's been pretty much uh, a constant. Yeah, a constant. And so for you, how much weight have you, have you lost? Uh, uh, so far, uh, I have dropped 15 pounds in 48 days. and. Again, like you said, this is not about a weight loss thing. It's about you know, what nice you eat. Stuff. However, uh, you know, uh, by not about how what we're eating, I just yeah, just to drop 15 pounds. Now, go ahead. That being said, uh, we're going to continue to do this. I, well, that's what the game plans continue to do this. Uh, however, would I still eat meat? You know, maybe twice a week. Yeah, probably. You know, so. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. No, the, 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 this is the plan, and um, I'll come back to the weight thing in a minute. Um, but but this is this is our plan to um, you know whole food plant based, and that literally means no animal products. I'm not saying vegan because I'm not a vegan, right. and it's really important for people to understand who have started following us. I'm not I'm not a vegan. I'm a pescetarian. Okay, he is a flexitarian. He, he eats anything, any and everything. I am a pescetarian. If it comes out of the water, if it comes out of the ocean, comes out of the stream, I'll eat it. Um, that, being, that being said, um, we have dedicated ourselves to doing five days whole food plant-based every week with the option, and this is an option, with the option of eating whole, um, of eating for me, a pescetarian, pescetarian whole food plant based, and for D, a flexitarian whole food plant based. Mm -hmm. So the difference is that we would just be adding either fish and or, in his case, in in his case, meat. Mm -hmm. So I want people to really understand: I am not a vegan. My husband is not a vegan either. Right. Right. Um, I'll, I will say this: I don't believe in extremism, but that will come in another video. I don't believe in extremism because, well, I don't. But anyway, that 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 being said, that was very important. So back to the weight loss. He's lost um, 15 pounds. Actually, it's actually over, a little over 15 pounds, mm. to be honest with you. Mm. So he's lost just over 15 pounds. I myself, I've lost a dress size. I don't know how much that is in weight. I just know that the other day I went to a memorial and I was getting into clothes that I hadn't been able to get into. So I know that I've lost, I've lost a dress size. Mm. I myself too have been sleeping so much better. So much better. Uh, I feel rested. When I go to sleep, I'm out. I go to sleep. Prior to this, uh, you know, I'd go down, you know, if the neighbor's dog started barking, I'd, I'd hear it, you know. But I, when I'm out, I'm out. And so mm. therefore, I'm not a sluggish, um, you know, my, my response time is so much quicker and overall I am feeling a lot better, so much better. There are little things that, you know, you don't really notice. Some of these, um, I don't know, I, I don't want to call them aches and pains, but mm -hmm. that might be, that might yeah. be really a good way to describe them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because it's not an ache and pain that you need to take like Tylenol or Ibuprofen or Motrin or you know, painkillers for, right. but you kind of realize that it's not there anymore. Right. What was the best dish? 
the best, what's the best dish? Have we been here already? My best dish been every dish. Um, every that's day. for you. I mean, that's for you, Roberta. <laughs> I think we said this already. Yeah, I'm having a I'm having a flashback. That's for you, Roberta Guajara Garcia. That's for you. No, everything's been great. I mean, yeah, it's coming off the uh, get on the plate, and I'm ready to jump at it. I mean, it's just yeah. No, it, it for me one of the things for those of you who have actually been following. Thank you for watching part one. I'd like you to join us for part two by clicking the link where we're going to discuss our likes and dislikes, revelations and surprises on this whole food plant based journey, as well as giving you tips on getting started and sharing a biggie with you how not to fail should you choose to do a whole food plant based experience. Click the link to join us.